Hello, welcome to channel Enviro Notations. Here are the headlines from Enviro Notations published on 22nd February 2023. Two wills to taps through RO. CM for Delhi QC check. In the national capital Delhi, water is being drawn from 94 tube wells to ensure domestic water supply. This has led to an increase of about 19 MGD water. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has asked for daily assessment of the water coming out of the tube wells and reports to be presented in the next meeting. The Chief Minister had shot two, three designs for setting up 1,000 RO plants in unauthorized colonies. The best design among the choices will be selected for the project. On border road issues, Forest Advisory Committee asks for law ministry advice. Instruments to facilitate long-term lending critical to facilitate green transition said Amitabh Kant, G20 Sherpa, in World Sustainable Development Summit 2023. NGT takes Haryana to task on vacant posts. Delhi next. The matter pertains to 303 vacant posts out of 481 sanctioned posts in the Haryana State Pollution Control Board. Acute shortage of staff hinders effective control over polluters who are causing pollution and affecting not only the environment but also the health of people. According to information provided by the Delhi Pollution Control Committee, it has also a shortage of manpower as 229 posts are lying vacant. So more cognizance has been taken by the National Green Tribunal Principal Bench in the matter of media report to the effect that damage has taken place to 21 structures in Doda district of Chena Valley in Jammu and Kashmir. Editorial Harvest No Contaminated Rainwater deals with the slacky approach of Delhi government on contaminated rainwater harvesting issue. It also questions the status of quality checks in rainwater harvested in the industrial areas and roads as well as highways. Gaurav Garg's rejoinder raises doubts on UPPCB's clean sheet to NVRAD Medicare. India urges for dedicated conservation and preservation of the oceans and its biodiversity, sustainable eco-development, coastal people under the UNCLOS. UNCLOS is United Nations Convention on the Law of Sea. You may like to note that the IUCN Red List tracks the number of described species and updates this figure annually based on the latest work of taxonomists. In 2021, it listed 2.13 million species on the planet. A major share is of the insects, which is 1.05 million, and over 11,000 birds, over 11,000 reptiles, and over 6,000 mammals. Further, an estimated number of species on the Earth in 2011 shows that out of 87,50,000 species, a total of 22,10,000 are ocean species. Pius Goel calls for more investment in EVs to boost electric mobility. The Union Minister said Budget 2023 to boost India's green goals, circular economy. Please support this channel of India's first environmental weekly newspaper and viral notations. You can pay through the UPI QR code displayed on the screen. 77,265 km Indian highways to cut 32.15 million tons of CO2 annually. The highways constructed since 2014 has potential to avoid 642.95 million tons of carbon dioxide in 20 years. A report shows that there was 652.6 thousand tons of CO2 emissions due to tree felling, forest area loss of 2.18 thousand hectare. 
government working on reuse of fertilizer waste in highway construction phosphor gypsum is a byproduct of fertilizer production an indian fertilizer company has constructed a road using phosphor gypsum notable that in october 2020 the united states environment protection agency approved a request from the fertilizer institute to allow phosphor gypsum to be used in government road construction projects nmcg approves nine projects worth 1278 crore rupees for pollution abatement in ganga basin drone surveillance for sahadra drain cgwa allows change in withdrawal quantity in groundwater noc revival we have a separate video for this ea170 a link is shared in the description delhi government tree plantation drive targets 5.2 million trees the book geopolitics redefined punctured truths and glamorized lies was unveiled on 13th february 2023 by dr vijay kumar singh the former army chief and currently union minister of state for civil aviation and also for road transport and highways the expert appraisal committee for industry one sector projects asks ultratech nath dwar cement to balance groundwater the cement company extracts 31 lakh 85000 liters water from the ground every day the eac okays proposal of sia metallics and energy to switch from air cooling to water cooling system water demand goes up by 8016 kld to know more please subscribe to environment notations it's published every wednesday annual subscription for sub copies comes at a nominal price of rupees 1100 only you can pay through the upi qr code displayed on the screen or to mobile number 9818326647 please share your valuable comments on this video in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button it costs nothing to you but encourages us tremendously and also share this video with your friends and colleagues and if you have not subscribed so far to this channel please do it now you can also share your stories news research and obsess your articles for publication in our print version and share your videos for this youtube channel thank you very much for watching this we will come back with another episode for you till then do take care of yourself and your environment